Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Kiran. Welcome to my video tutorial. Today we are going to learn on how to create an e-bulletin using any flip. Okay, so there are four steps. The first step, you need to plan the content of your e-bulletin. Step two, you need to compile pictures, videos, anything related to your content. Step three, using PowerPoint, you need to prepare the layout for your e-bulletin. Okay, and step four, finally, you need to download any flip from this website and then sign up as a member and you can upload your PowerPoint uh, e-bulletin to any flip website. Okay, so I've done step, um, I've already compiled all my materials and I have my content. So now we are going to create the PowerPoint slide. Okay, so let's choose any, any slide that you want. For now, I'm just going to choose this. So you need to have a catchy title for your bulletin. So I've decided on one. Get hooked. Yeah, get hooked to reading. So you can change the color, the font, the size, up to your liking. Okay, then maybe subtitle. Okay, English e-bulletin. Simple. Now, all this you can change later on, okay, once you're done with the layout for the full e-bulletin using PowerPoint, you can always change and make your pages prettier. I maybe would like to insert a logo. Yeah, I've got this from the internet, so I'm going to put this somewhere here and uh, you can add an outline. And I would like to make it slightly thicker. Right. Okay, then I'm going to go to the second page. Second page is usually a welcome note. Welcome and get hooked. Ah, simple. So again, change the font. Perhaps the color. Okay, and the size. Now I'm going to add a filling here. Shape fill. Um, that is this one and the outline. Make it thicker. Okay, there you go. Right, and I'm going to add something to do with uh, reading, maybe. Yeah, this one. Okay, right. Simple. And I'm going to add an outline again. So, and uh, it's empty here, so I'm going to put a picture. Hmm, what picture? I feel I put B in here. Oh, it's very weak. Let me just minimize it a little bit. Okay, a bit more. He doesn't seem to look so happy here. Anyway, it's okay. Um, okay, see, you can actually uh, bend it a little bit, slant the pictures. So we can be a little bit creative here. We don't have to be very con uh, conventional, okay? So we can uh, make it as creative as you want, okay? So once you get the hang of it, you will, you know, be an expert. Okay, so I'm going to go straight to the first component, which is our reading. Okay, I'm going to insert... Um, what should I insert? Something to do with reading. Okay, maybe this logo. Oh, should be here. Right. Somewhere here. Maybe at the corner here. Okay, yeah, right. Then, perhaps a story. Let's see, I have a short story. Okay, there you are. Yeah, a uh, good boy. Um, we can add task as well. Okay, so you can make your bulletin interactive. Okay, task. Uh, parallel writing. Yeah? So with the help of teachers, um, our students are able, may be able to do this task. 
so you can use this for your online classes teachers um, and it would be fun for a change oops this is a new area okay baby chain girl and maybe i would like to fill this up Increase the size of the border. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I think I, I think the font can be slightly smaller. Yep. Yes. Right. And uh, perhaps this empty space there, I can insert a picture. Let's look and see if I can find. Oh, this girl looks diligent. Okay, minimize the size of this picture and bring this to the front. So I right click and bring to the front. Okay, and this picture I can add a border. Okay, perfect. And this one also the border. So it's up to you teachers. I'm just playing around with the colors. Okay, how you want. And finally, um, you can go on doing. So I'm going to show you my final product of this. See? Yeah. So I have quite a number of items inside. Uh, this is something to do with grammar, tenses. Okay. And then I have something on phrasal verbs and idioms and games, puzzles. There you go. A word names. Huh? And do not forget, finally, you need your thank you note and maybe your name. Okay, right. So once you're happy with your product teachers, then you can save as. Okay, save as which folder you want it to be saved as. Saved in and the title. And here, save as type, you go to PDF and save. There you go. It's in PDF form now. Okay. There are 20 pages. Okay. Once you're done with this, now we're going to go to step number four, which is the any flip page. Okay. So once you've signed up, then you will come to a page like this. Okay. This is my page, teacher Kiran. Okay. And you click quick upload. And you'll come to the page where you are required to upload your PDF. So let's add the title. Uh, this one can be uh, edited later on if you wish to change anything. Okay. Description, English, language, teaching. And keywords, I would like to write it as just as reading. Oops. Okay, and category would be educative. And all right, so this one can leave it as it is. And now here I'm going to upload my my PDF. Get hooked. Okay, open. And we'll wait for a while. Yeah, it's almost done quite simple teachers once you get the hang of it you will actually um, be quite excited to do more yeah get your students to upload e-bulletins too huh? it's fun actually and you can actually share this huh? online on Facebook okay so here we can change the template as a background template so maybe I would like to change to um, double click on this so it's applying here. So it's up to you. You can choose what you like. Okay, you can change the background. Okay, you can even use something this, like this. Something colorful, something simple to your liking. Okay, right. So let's stick to this now. And then I'm going to go to this part, advanced, toolbar setting. And you scroll. Till you come to, um, let's see, I would like to add a background music, yeah? 
Okay, background sound, select file. Okay, the sound button under toolbar setting. You go to sound button, select a file. So you should have some um, audios that you have saved. So I choose one from here, maybe um, this one. Instrumental would be just nice, yeah. So once you're done, everything is okay, you're happy. Then you don't want to change anything else. Okay, then you can just click apply change. All right, and then now we are going to view this. Full screen, huh? full screen. Let's look at it at, at a full screen view. Okay, right. So once you're done, you can save and close. And it's there. Okay. If you wish to share, you can share it. Or you, you can share the link with your friends on your social media account. Or you can share on Facebook. So you will scan the QR code. So it's very user-friendly. So I would like to wish all the best to all of you and do try and make your students do this too. Right? Thank you.